In this video, we will present an overview of the HID Coney Quantum Fabric Council, services and customizations, as well as publishing a fabric project. Coney Fabric is a back-end service provider that helps developers build omni-channel digital applications. Coney Fabric allows you to define the back-end to build native mobile apps for iOS, Android, and Windows, and SPAs and responsive web apps for browsers. Coney Fabric ensures that developers build desktop mobile applications quickly and obtain secured backend services instantly. Coney Fabric Identity Services helps you secure your application by adding an authentication layer. You can set up an identity service based on the type of users who can access your application. To restrict access to your company's internal audience, use Microsoft Active Directory authentication. To start, log into to Coney Fabric with your user credentials. After successfully logging in, the Coney Fabric dashboard will open. Select the Fabric app from the Coney Fabric dashboard. Under Configure Services, the Identity tab allows you to manage identity services. If you click on a service, you can view all the details of that particular service. Under Configure Services, select the Integration tab. Integration services are used to test the services defined with its associated operations. A service is an application component that represents the application interaction with the external data source. A service definition comprises the metadata or the configurations required to exchange data with the external data source. For example, the configurations can be service type, service ID, input parameters, output parameters, preprocessors and postprocessors, target URL, authentication credentials if required, and type HTTP or HTTPS. Click the Header tab to configure parameters in the Client's Header. There are five different options available in the Coney Fabric under Request Input during configuration. The Name field provides custom HTTP headers required by the external source. In the Value field, you can select Request or Session. By default, this field is set to Request. Click the Body tab to configure parameters in the Client's Body. There are three different options available in the Coney Fabric under Request Input during configuration. In the Name field, you can enter a name for the Request Input parameters. In the Value field, you can select Request or Session. By default, this field is set to Request. You can configure the parameters for the preprocessor and postprocessor to filter the request and response objects for your business requirements. You can specify the Java class name or custom JavaScript code or rules for the preprocessor and postprocessor. Java class names contain the preprocessor and postprocessor.
Under Configure Services, select the Orchestration tab. Orchestration services leverage the concept of combining multiple integration services, object services, or orchestration services into a single service to simplify business logic and client apps and reduce the number of service invocations. Select a service. Operation Security Level allows you to select the required authentication type. It defines the way a client must authenticate to access the operation. The front-end HTTP method allows you to select the required request method you want to use to invoke the service operation from an HTTP client. Service orchestration is the coordination or integration of several services and exposing them to a single service. The mix of services support the automation of business processes. You can select multiple services or operations. All the defined services need not be the same type. For example, your orchestration services can contain a combination of looping service, concurrent service, and sequential service. You can add existing orchestration services to a new service. For creating a new composite service, you select the service from the existing integration services and orchestration services. A dynamic code is generated based on the configuration of a service. You can use this API in your SDK. Under Configure Services, select the Object tab. Click on HID Objects. Object Services is a feature of Kony Fabric that enables model-driven application design and development by following a microservices architectural approach to create reusable components and link them to fit into your solution. Using object services, you can define your preferred data model, which defines how your application wants to interact with its data. Under Data Model, select Approved Device Registration. Select Fields. Under Mapping, Select Approved Device Registration. You can see the name of the service, where the service is mapped to, and the security level. Select Get Invite Code. Object Services includes a visual designer that lets you add, modify, and delete request and response mappings of any of your object services by using a drag and drop interface. The backend object, data model, and other objects and functions associated with the service are each displayed in their own container. Each container has one or more items listed within it. You can click on an item and drag your cursor to another item in another container to create new mappings. Click Edit to open the request mapping. When the visual designer is in edit mode, the toolbox pane lists built-in functions on the left side of the view. The list includes all the built-in mapper functions, as well as any functions you have created. You can add new functions to your service by dragging and dropping the function from the list. You can also add, edit, import, export, and delete any custom functions you have. Using object services, you can define your preferred data model, which defines how your application wants to interact with its data. There is a clear separation between the data model and how it maps to the backend systems of the record. 
The Define Data Model and Mappings encapsulate the backend data and APIs and abstract the complexity of the API from your client application. You can use object services to create data models from line of business objects and define service-driven objects from existing APIs in your enterprise. Object Services feature enables you to control your API calls and data in a better manner. For simplistic applications, the use of integration services may be sufficient for you to get the job done. As you start to build bigger and more complex applications, reusability plays a vital role. In such scenarios, the use of object services will help make your job easier. The App Services server is configured in the Quantum Fabric Council under the Environment section. You can access the App Services from the Quantum Fabric Council. Under Configure Services, select Environment. Here you can choose your primary environment, cloud or on-premises. In the HID Global Dev environment, select App Services. Configurable Parameters provides an interface to define a set of key value pairs at the server and the client level. You can access the configured server and client properties from the custom code. The configured properties are available as custom code such as preprocessor, postprocessor, and Java services at runtime. Any updates made to the configured properties are reflected in the custom code. Select Server Properties. Under Configurable Parameters, you can configure a set of key value pairs that can be accessed by all the services in Quantum Fabric and client applications. It provides an interface to define a set of key value pairs at the server and client level. The configured server properties are available to all the backend services running on the server. The configured client properties are available to any client app that has permission to access the server. The general configuration section displays the general settings of the Fabric server. The log configuration section displays the configuration settings related to the server logs. The course configuration section displays the configuration settings related to the cross-origin resource sharing access. The SSL configuration section is used to connect the Fabric server to the customer enterprise server using the appropriate SSL certificates and settings. The GDPR policy section provides settings that enable the protection of the personally identifiable information of a user. Log in to Kony Fabric with your user credentials. Select the HID onboarding application. Select the Publish tab. Select HID Global Dev. 
Select Configure and Publish. Publishing allows your app to start using the Kony service in real time. After an app is published, Kony Fabric generates the code that you can integrate with the platform SDKs. Select Version. Select Save and Publish. Select the API Management option. Select the Custom Code tab. Under Custom Code, you can download, update, and delete jars. To update a jar, select Update. A dialog box will appear asking you to either drag a jar file or browse to upload. To download a jar, select the jar and click Download. To delete a jar, select Delete, 